Okay then, let's get going with the paint. I'm going to use my Flesh Base 341 uh, Panzer Aces. Give it a good old shake. Uh, if you hear that noise, uh, there's a little ball bearing in there in the bottom of the bottle, which I find most useful keep, keeping the the paint nicely mixed up. Um, not particularly happy about this. You can't really see it too well on this, so you can see that in there that I've added a bit of stuff paint in there. Got my little pipette here. Pipette. Just get a lump of clean water out of there and stick it over there on the side there. Right on there, not in there, but on here. Um, I've got a, a series two, number two of my Scepter Golds. And all I'm gonna do is start mixing the paint up. I hope you can see this properly. And if you can't, then I'm sorry, but I don't give refunds. And then dip it into that water there. So you're adding a little bit of water from the side and like I say, and you want the first application to be on your face super thin, so all you're doing is getting a nice little bit of coloured water and you're going to slap it on Arthur <laughs> here, and so start it off, it's going to look very wishy-washy but you're going to do a few coats, so and it's not going to be too bad, don't worry about it running into there and all you're doing is just slapping it around I'm not going to go the other side of these uh, helmet strap because it's pointless I'm only going to show you how to we're not showing you how to do this, I'm sure you know how to do this yourself I'm just showing you what it's going to look like Uh, this particular figure, you can't really see the eyes too well in there, so I'll have to find another guy to do the eyes in due course. So there's one little thing there, and of course this is just purely laying down a, a nice thin. Let's take a bit of access off of that nice thin coat, so you can start your painting. Actually, when I do this uh, upload it, I shall probably add some music to it so you don't get bored with my inane drivel that I normally come out with. So let's leave him aside for a minute. Let's leave Arthur. Let's bring the other guy in here and do exactly the same thing, even though. He's already got a good uh, base on. I'm just going to give him another coat. And now if I can see, because it's very difficult to see what I'm doing myself. Uh, this is just a test piece, obviously. I haven't, uh, I haven't cleaned him up properly. Um, and all I'm doing on there is just giving him a basic colour of the face. He says nearly dropping all his paint all over the place again, but never mind. These things are sent to try us, aren't they? Yep. So let's give it another coat and you'll find that once you've got one little layer on there that the paint starts to go easier over the face itself because you're painting on the top of that layer that's already been laid down. And it gives you just a nice base to be getting on with. I don't know why that paint's not taken out at the bottom there. Never mind. I'm sure we get to the the bottom of that particular problem soon enough. over the top of his nose, perhaps the paint needs to be a little bit thicker for this particular thing there. Alright, put him down, come back to this guy here, 
He's looking pretty good actually, so I'm going to leave him the way he is for a minute. And as I say, this is purely the base coating. You don't have to worry about taking off too much paint off your paintbrush. We'll get into that in a minute. Uh, let's have a look over here. Have we got a guy? No, I've already done him pretty well. Let's take. the tank out guy. Let's paint his face. So you can see also a bit clearly of what's coming down. So as before we're going to give him a little going over. On his face. Don't worry about the uniform just yet. Or the earphones or anything like that because we're going to be painting over that in the future when we start detailing properly bring it up into his hair and his neckline around the back there give him a good old thingy alright let's take a bit more and give Arthur a bit more a bit of thicker coat side and just keep going like that. So you've got a nice, uh, keep repeating myself, but you've got a nice cover of paint. So you see the faces coming uh, together a bit better in here. You see that this is coming across. I'm trying to do this properly so you can see it. Get the eyes in there, have a bit of access, a bit of paint in there, and uh, go from there. Alright, okay, let's uh, put another couple of layers on and we come back to this in a minute. 